this is monkey 1000 checking making sure you guys can see me um, I might be a little bit dark that was my car keys anyways today we're gonna go walking on the green mile that we have we ha it goes very far and I've taken you on it a little bit you know down by the park I've showed you the park and stuff a little bit um, we're gonna walk and I'm gonna put this on my head and we can um, maybe discuss something if you like uh, pick a topic um, yeah I know you can't really um, you know I can't go live because of my phone that uh, YouTube won't let me because I don't have enough um, views and stuff so um, yeah so if you could when I put this video up and you put a comment down and you want to talk about something while I'm walking um, you know we can so the reason why we're doing this, I'm going to tell you when I get out there and start walking. Um, I used to walk a lot way before I uh, met uh, Shaber, and I kind of slacked off. I like to walk. Uh, it's fun to me. It's relaxing. And this Green Mile, I love it here. I, that was one of the biggest things why I moved to Inverness, um, is, is because of this trail. And... Uh, because I figure I could walk it, I could bike it, you know, and go for miles or not go for miles. You know, there there's so much you can see on this, on this too. So, what I'm going to do is do a different section, hopefully. You know, a lot of the times it might be the same section. Um... But sometimes I'm gonna I'm gonna go in a different area so you guys get a an idea of what it really looks like and it goes for miles a long way so um, you know I might have to drive a little bit and go into Ocala maybe and and walk around there or something you know once in a while so here we go I'm gonna turn this off and then I'll turn you back on when I get you on my head and we'll just do some walking. Okay. I don't know if the other one's going to stop or not. Maybe. Hopefully. Thanks. Ah. Okay, guys. So, hopefully you guys can see something. This is new to me, too. So, this is kind of neat. Over here is the owner. This guy owns all those little places over there and uh, he has a nice view on the water here so uh, and if you live in his area if you live in his area that um, you can come down to this park this is not this is private for people who who live in his condos across the road so you can come in here and you can go on the dock and stuff like that, which is kind of nice for, for the ones that are owning it. Um, so this is, this is closer to my house. The nursing home is right there. So a lot of the nursing home people, I hope you can hear me, um, they come over here and uh, they, uh, they come and walk on here for therapy and stuff like that. So I didn't bring Shea Bear. He's going to do his video today. Um, he got an unboxing to do. So, and he needs electric for it. So I just came down here by myself. My mother's not feeling well or I would have brought her. And I need a power walk. And the reason why I have to do this is because I'm becoming diabetic. And... My body is really, the sugar's been really high. I've been in the 500s, I've been in the 400s, and the 300s, so we got to get it down. No. Hi. Hello. So they, we need to kind of just go walking. I just got to start doing this. So I'm not going to do a bunch of it today, but I am going to get motivated and start doing this. And it gives me something else to look at. So I'll show you this while I'm here. 
so you guys can kind of see this. Hopefully you can on my head here. Uh, yeah, I think you can get it. Yeah, there you go. And this is uh, the trail right here. And it talks about the DeSoto Trail and how far it goes. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if I can put my glasses on so I can read it a little bit. But if you guys can see it and you can freeze it, we will, um, yeah. So right here, this is where I'm at right here, I think. Yeah, you can see me pointing. Right here is where I'm at. And this trail goes all over. See, you can go all over it. I can walk for miles and miles and miles. It goes into Pensacola and it goes into Gainesville, past Gainesville up to Tallahassee. Now you have a lot of people that, um, they do the biking here where they race and stuff. So they have, they use these trails for exercising and practicing and stuff. Um, it's amazing how far this can go. Now I'm not going to go all the way unless we happen to be up there. Maybe I could find the trail and maybe we could explore it up there. So that's what I'm going to do. There's a lot of people out today because it's so nice out. So anyways, let's continue. And as you can see, you know, there's there are people riding their bikes and enjoying it. And it's so pretty through here. I really love being out here. It's, you know, it, uh, it's a shame that I put others before me sometimes. And I shouldn't. And I uh, take care of everybody. So I got to take care of myself. So I got to get my sugar down. I, I don't have insurance, health insurance. And which is crazy because I'm Canadian and where we live, we have health insurance. And uh, a lot of people don't like socialism. But, you know, at least I felt I was healthier in Canada than I do in the United States. And it's because I don't can't afford it. We can't afford the insurance. And... Uh, you know, it's it's horrible. So um, I tried to go through the health department and uh, they won't answer their phone calls. So I don't have a doctor. So the next best step for me to do is to try to do it on my own. That means exercise, lose weight, and my body's losing weight very quickly. Um, and I'm not trying. So I'm kind of worried about that because something has stopped. His thyroid has stopped or my sugar is eating up everything. So I'm very concerned. So we're going to do this and, and this is really pretty in through here. So you can see. And people riding their bikes. It's a gorgeous day today. It's a great day to be out and do this. So. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a little bit this way and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go back the other way and show you some more because if I go straight all the way down there, you're going to hit into the park that you've already seen. So you've seen it a few times, which is okay because I could take you on the other side of that and we could go on the other side, which is pretty nice back there too. So... Um, of course, somebody's got to have their loud music and pour it on somebody else. So, this is uh, very low. It's very pretty through here. I haven't been down in this area for a while, and it's really nice. So, I'm going to stand here. Maybe I can dip his music out somehow. He seems to think that he's the only one out here. So anyways, yeah, it's really pretty out here. And I'm not a marathon runner or a walker. I used to walk a lot. I used to walk four or five miles a day. And, um, you know, I'm going to bring you over here so you can see this side. It's really pretty. 
I do love, I like living here. I really do. And I like taking advantage uh, of, of the water here. You know, I like, just love, love walking. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that guy over there. He has his boat. I hope I don't make you dizzy. I'm not used to it being on my head. And I hope you can hear me. <laughs> or it's just going to be one uh, quiet thing here. So, yeah. It's very pretty, though. So, I just love it. It's a great day. Anyways, it's too bad Shea Bear didn't come with me. He can't do a lot of walking because of his heart. But he could come out here. And I could he could have sat out here in the gazebo and maybe did his unboxing. And, uh... You know, but uh, yeah, we were thinking, we were talking because I told him I've got to, I've got to do something. I can't, the sugar's just getting too bad and I, I can feel it and I'm getting electric shocks through my body, which is very painful. And that means I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get neuropathy and neuropathy is not a good thing. So I have to change. I just have no choice. I have two parents that are diabetic and one, as you know, has passed on because of it. So, uh, I'm going to have to just change. I don't have a choice. And everything has sugar in it and that's a bad thing. So, we'll go up here and I'll talk about this podium here. Uh, I think this guy's taking a break here. I was trying to see if they have some electricity here. So Shea Bear could come up here if you wanted to and sit in here while I walk back and forth. Let me see what this says here. Okay, so here you go. Okay, so no, I don't. I don't see no electricity. What I was showing you is the different types of animals that you're going to see on this trail, and if you go on the other side of the uh, park, um, which I'll do one day. I'm not going to do it today. Um, we'll go. I'll go down here and then I'll turn around and go back the other way a little bit. And uh, there's a lot of gators over that side and also turtles. You'll see turtles and, oh, it's, it's really, and rabbits. Oh my God, there's rabbits and you'll be walking by them and they just sit there. They don't move. They're so used to people. So I'd like to take you over on that side one day. So if there's any topic or anything you want to talk about why I'm doing my walk, we can do that. You know, uh, not politics, though. I don't want to get into that. You know, it's just, to me, that's personal, just like religion. And uh, so I don't want to get into anything like that. Something fun to talk about, you know, ask questions, you know. And, and I'll just do them on my video. Here comes some people, so I'll be quiet. See, as you can see, there's tons of people here. And I'll stop here and show you here. I mean, I'm not going to do a power walk or anything like that today. I, I still have a sore on my toe. I think I broke it. Um, yeah, see, these are the birds. And we have these cranes always in my front yard. They're pretty cool. And these are different kinds of birds they're showing. You can freeze it and, and bring it up a little bit better for you if you want to. Um, for yourself. I'm not going to go into this too much. But these are the birds that you see in the water. There are gators in this pond. I mean, the lake. It's not a pond. And uh, so there's a lot, of, a lot of gators in there. Yeah, so. Anyways, uh, let's continue.
as you see there's those bikers that I was talking about and they all come down here they have groups of them and they some of them are come from the villages have you ever heard of the villages um, and they'll they'll come all the way down on this trail and they will go for miles and they practice and practice because they do races and stuff they have a race here every year but because of the you know problem that they have not done it this year so maybe maybe it's usually done in the fall when they do it <laughs> that's a crane i think type of crane pretty cool Yeah, I think that's the type of crane that I hear. Anyways, so the another part that I like to start over here um, by the nursing home is that it's shaded more, especially in the summertime. And they're probably, if it gets too hot in the mornings, I'll do it sometimes in the evenings if it, once it's cooling off, if I can. But these 100 degree weather, um, the 100 degree weather just gets to be too much and, and you know, you don't want to pass out or something. But I've got to, I've got to do this. So, I got my sugar down yesterday. I ate a big salad yesterday for dinner and that was about it. I've lost over 30 pounds quickly, which is not a good thing. I mean, it's good to lose it, but not the way it's happening and I'm not trying. So, um, you know... You know, so I want to get this. So you see all this in here? Let me see if I can show you here. There are gators all in here. And I have seen some big ones. And you're walking on these trails where the gators are. So, yeah, see? Hopefully you can see that. I got a guy walking here in a minute. Yep. So, weird. Usually can't see this. Okay, so we're going to go down here a little bit. Uh, I tell you, this walkway is so well used. I just love it here. This is, this is my favorite place of Inverness. And I, I, I can't, you know... And I kick myself for, for stopping, you know. Ever since I met Shea Bear, we've been on the go and we've been doing other things than that. So, you know, and that's great. I needed to do that, you know. I needed to have some fun and enjoy life because I never did, you know, when I was raising my kids. You know, we do kid stuff, but it was limited. You know, I was a single mom. So, but this is, this is what I like. It's just relaxing. So, anyways, I'm gonna probably turn around right here because what you see over there is where the the uh, train is and the park is. And I want to show you the other end. So, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna walk, and you're gonna see more of this still. And we'll go on the other side, and you will see the other side for a little bit. So I figure I'm, I'm going to try to walk um, a couple of times a week. I'm going to try to bring my mother out sometimes and get her going. Problem is that she'll have to do her own speed and, and then I'll have to do mine. But um, right now I'm just basically getting used to it. You know, you got to get back in the swing of it. And I don't want to overdo it because your muscles will start hurting. So, but um, yeah. I think this will be good and maybe I do a video a couple of times a week on doing something like this and we could talk about certain things, a topic that you're interested in or you want to ask questions and I'll make a list of the questions you are asking and I'll answer why I'm walking. I wish I could do it live but first of all you're going to have a bad signal in here um, you know and my, my camera doesn't do that. So, and I can't, can't do it on my cell phone in here because, um, YouTube, 
maybe one day. Maybe we can get it one day. So, and we'll try to do this for a little bit and see how it works. I like to take you in different sections though, so you can see the trail and how great it is. And, uh, you know, you don't have to go far from your home to, to really enjoy what's around you. Now, I used to live in Oklahoma, which is in between Ocala and Ormond Beach. Um, and it's kind of halfway. And uh, it's, it's the forest. I call it the forest. We're going to go camping out there probably um, sometime next year, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> and it's all very primitive out there. Um, you know, it's... I like to take the boat out there too because there's some really nice areas to go boating in there and stuff. It's just when I was by myself out there, I didn't have family around me. And I was like, there was nobody there. You know, everybody was hiding somewhere. Yeah, they probably really weren't, but that's how you felt. And then, so I got a bear in my front yard one night, one morning, I was getting ready for work. And I had a bear, and uh, the uh, bear was on my yard. And I was trying to get ready for work, and I called the police because kids were coming out to go to the school bus stops. And there was a guy, and he had a small dog and stuff. And they said, well, do you think he's aggressive? And I said, I'm not going to go outside to find out. So it kind of made me nervous to be out there by myself. So I'm glad I'm around people. <clears throat> so anyways, this is really pretty through here. I really love it here. Yeah. Today's a great day to do this. I was going to do this yesterday, but it was just raining too much, and it was nasty. And and I was like, well, I could do it anyways, but I'm trying to make sure there's nobody behind me. Sometimes people will be behind you, and you don't know it. <laughs> and they scare you. So, uh, it's a great day to be out here. So, maybe we'll get some bikes where... Um, Che Bear will be able to ride, maybe. I don't know how far he's going to be able to ride. You know, but maybe I could do something like that. We can get get a couple of bikes. We sold all those bikes. And uh, we could have kept them. But <clears throat> I want a newer bike. A nicer bike. And we'll buy some nice ones, maybe. And you can go online and find them, too. So, you know, it's pretty cheap. That's how I sold mine, the ones we found. We found those on the side of the road. I couldn't believe how many bikes I found. People just put them on the side of the road because they can't sell them. <clears throat> can't get the money for them, so they just put free on them. Which is crazy, but in some ways it's helping others. <clears throat> so, that guy's gone from here. It's a nice little gazebo there, but I don't see any electricity at all, so... Mm -mm. I don't even think there's light in this. It's just for daytime. Yeah. It's a nice... You can sit out here and look at the water. Let's see here. We'll go in here for a minute. Get a little shade. Yeah, see? Nice view, eh? Gorgeous view. Well... Try to get the water a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so you can see it. Very pretty out here. That's why I like boating so much. It's fun, but I gotta get my exercising going here. Yeah. Wow. Hard to believe it's January today. Yeah. This is Florida. This is why we live in Florida. So, I'm going to continue on to the other side so you can kind of see that side. Now there's people at the bridge. 
that guy's fishing. They fish there quite often. I think that guy might be taking pictures, maybe? Yeah, he's taking a picture. Yeah, there's a boat in the water. I think you can see. I don't know if you can see him or not in the water. There's a guy on his boat. They're fishing today. I don't think we're going to take the boat out again until we paint it. So we're going to paint it in February. That's what our plan is. Because it'll be a little bit warmer but not too hot. And uh, hopefully and we'll be able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. Yeah, so it's really nice here. Really like being around water. Always have. Yeah. So you can probably see those boats out there. There you go. There's quite a few out here. So, anyways, I think I'm going to try to do um, some diabetic uh, recipes and see how I can do those. Um, Shea Bear's not diabetic. I did test him, and he's fine. Lucky die. But my mother and I are not so lucky. So, I'm going to try to get some diabetic um, uh, uh, some recipes for me and my mom, and then he can make his own dinner or something like that. Um, or we can just maybe mix them and maybe some of this he can eat that he might not even know that are diabetic food. <laughs> so that's my idea. Um, hi. And I want to try to uh, put him on, on a YouTube thing so we can... That's like a guy's very tall. Uh, and so we can... Uh, you know, maybe help others, you know, that are diabetic. It really sucks. I knew it was coming. Um, hi, how are you? I knew it was coming because both my parents are diabetic. Yeah, I eat pretty much. There for a while, I really watched my weight and I got it down for a while. And then I met Shea Bear and he likes to eat. And I'm an eater, so he makes good food, so... I have to eat when I see his food. So now I'm in big trouble and I'm at the beginning. So I might be able to control it with exercise, get my weight down some more, hopefully, that even though it's happening on its own. It could be a change of life. It could be my thyroid because when I had the car accident, they said that my thyroid was enlarged. Look at that boat over there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, is that a boat? Can't see without my glasses on. I think that's a boat over there. Yeah, it's a, yeah so uh, there's lots of people. It's Sunday, you know, it's beautiful out, and it was such a crappy day yesterday, so. Uh, I think you can barely see it. But that white thing right there, that that's a boat. It's all covered. Doesn't look like it's been used in a long, long time. So it's pretty cool in here. Yeah. yeah. So we'll continue. 
So I can feel my muscles. I haven't done this in a while, so that's why I'm not really power walking. I'm just going to walk around and kind of just do my thing. And I'll, I'll increase as I go. Uh, they have an app on, on your phone that you can get for walking, and it'll tell you exactly how many miles you've gone and the trail that you went on and stuff like that. So you can challenge yourself. I might put it back on and start doing that myself. So... So we're going to go back over on the other side a little ways and so you can see that side. And most of the other side is very shaded so like a hot day is a great day to go down there. Um, you know, or a cold day, you know, it's really too cold or something. Um, yeah, you might be too cold to go down there, I don't know. I've been down there in the rain when it rained and it's, it's not bad. You know, in the shade there. It kind of windy day. You could go down there and it kind of block the wind, maybe, because there's a lot of trees. So, anyways, this is what we're doing. Yeah. And this, this to me, it reminds me of home because we were always outside as kids, you know. Um, we were always outside, and this is why I like this so much. It just reminds me of an area, it reminds me of home a lot. The trees and stuff, except for the palm trees. So, so everybody's just doing their thing. I hear that bird again. <laughs> Making noise. Ah. So, and maybe I'll come, I'll come during the week, you know, if I'm not working too, I'll do one during the week. So it's not so busy. <clears throat> Heard something. I think it was a Geico. One of those little, little things. And there you see over there is my truck. I think you can see it. Yeah. And that's where I park to do this walkway when I'm over here. I was going to put my parents in this nursing home and I thought, oh, this would be a great, great friggin' uh, nursing home here, you know, to put them in because they're close to the walkway. I could take them out on a nice day and walk them and stuff. But it was so dull and dreary inside, it was very depressing. And I was like, no. They need a color in there. They need to color scheme it inside. It's just like very, very depressing. So I didn't put them there. So, yep, yeah, there's, there's my old truck. She keeps ticking for me. She's a good truck. And we're gonna go down this side, so. It's a little different. So, this is more shaded over here. And it is getting warmer, so it'll be nice to go down in here. Yeah. My band's kind of tight. A little bit too tight. It's starting to hurt my head a little bit. So... There. It's so pretty through here and stuff, so. Oh, okay. And they have little holes for the birds and stuff through here. It's like a bird sanctuary kind of, too. It's really cool through here. So, yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. And we'll go down this way for a bit. I don't know how much I can do because I haven't done this in a while and I can feel it in my legs already. <laughs> so, anyways, I think I mentioned I hurt my toe. Well, I did something stupid. So, I uh, was getting out of the shower trying to put my clothes on, my pajamas on, and uh, I had to take out my mom's bench chair. What a bench chair is is half in the bathtub and half out. 
so you can sit on the side and lift your legs over instead of trying to climb over if you can't do that. So I had to take it out of the shower so I could have a shower. So I had it sitting there and I was trying to get dressed and my toes were around the leg of the bench chair and I didn't realize it and I went to go walking out the door and my baby toe bent backwards really bad. So um, I think I broke it but I didn't go to the hospital. I mean, where they, they don't do anything, really, anything. That's a squirrel. And uh, so they don't really do much for them. So I've been suffering for the last three weeks. And uh, I, it's getting better. Um, but I still can feel it when I have it in my shoe. So I don't want to go overboard either and, you know, walk too much on it and it go backwards because I really need to have my balance. But it is healing. It is feeling better. Thank goodness. And it was a stupid thing. But, oh well. We all do those, I guess. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to walk down here. Ah, it's very nice through here. We'll get up here and they have benches up there and, and stuff. You'll see, you'll see. I don't want to tell you everything, so you, you keep keep watching and, and you'll see. You can fast forward it if you want a little bit, if you don't want to watch all these trees and stuff. But it's pretty through here. It's relaxing to me, you know? Very, very de-stresses you. Hi. Another one on a bike. They have all kinds of bikes through here. He's with the bike club too. You see those shirts, that's what they are. They're they're with a some kind of group, a bike group. They do racing and stuff. And you'll see them all over. I go to Claremont and I see them racing riding up there on up in Claremont. So they do pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, make sure you always bring your bottle of water. I need a strap or something where I can put my water in so I don't have to hold it. It gets old holding it. So, I need to come up with something I could do that with. Yeah. Now, one time I came out here, it was, ah, uh, it was a really cloudy day, it was winter time, and I went walking by myself, and, uh, there was a guy behind me, it creeped me out, he kept following me, and kept following me, finally, I jarred and I went into town, because I was too far from my vehicle to go back, so, and he finally left, thank goodness. Hey. But most of the time, you know, I feel pretty safe on this trail. You know, they're pretty strict. The cops come up and down on these trails. You'll see them ride up and down. And uh, one time, uh, I think I, I was on the trail. Who did I? Oh, I had our other dog, my other dog. I had um, a chocolate uh, uh, lab with my, yeah. So I had a, a lab there for a while. I had to give her away. She was just too big for for my size of home and, and she was just too hyper. She needed to leave. You know, she needed to be on land so she could run around and stuff. So I got rid of her and I mean a little dog for where I live is perfect. And I don't want to be overwhelmed by a big dog. I've had a chocolate lab before and she was a great dog. But this one was a puppy and it was just very hyper. So I had her and I was taking her for a walk and one of the cops came by and they gave her cookies and stuff. It was kind of neat. So they have treats for the dogs. And dogs can't come on here as long as you clean up your mess and, and walk with them on a leash. That that's that's what they ask for. You know. So 
There used to be, I don't know if it's still here or not, but I think it's a pig farm or a uh, uh, something. I can't remember. I think it was a pig farm. But I don't know if they still have it or not. We'll see if they still have it. I haven't been this way for years. It's been at least three years. Maybe even longer. So, yeah. so probably if I continued my walking and took care of myself, I wouldn't have my sugar up as high as I do. But I don't know, it could be hereditary, so it might be a, quite a battle trying to keep it, you know, on a good level. But I just go walking and enjoy myself. Yeah, I think this is it right here. I got people behind me, so I'll wait until they walk by. Hi. Well, yeah, they used to have some fa animals in here. So when you're walking, I don't know if you can see. Uh, let's see if I can get up here. If they have anything. It doesn't look like they do anymore. Maybe because of the virus, they, they don't have them in here. They've moved them or something. Do not feed, it says. Do not feed the animals. So, yeah, see, they had a bunch of animals in here. and it, I think they were pigs, I believe. Yeah. They have a strict diet. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. But I don't see any, I don't see any in there. Uh, hi. Hello. Oh, there is one. There's one right there. I think, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'll try to zoom it in when I edit this. But I think that might be a donkey. Yeah, there's, there's something in there. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I think they used to have some roosters in there, and I think it's for the school. That's for the agricultural part of the for the schools, and they come here. I don't know what that is. Is that a cow? I don't know. Hard to tell. He just bopped his head up. Yeah, I think it's a cow. It's a cow. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't know if you can see him or not. Oh, he put his head back down. Yeah, you can barely see him. But he's sitting right in there, if you can see him right there. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that you go on a walking trail and you see animals, you know. And, uh, so, yeah, it's cool. So, there's, I only see the one. Yeah, it's a cow. Um... Yeah, they used to have some roosters in there and stuff. Oh, I see some over here. Let's see if we can find them here. Oh. I think there's some in here, too. Let's see. Hi. Uh, let's see what's in here. A lot of people, they just go biking. They don't realize, you know, what kind of animals are in here. I think, yeah, they could be roosters. Or is that a rooster? I don't know. Let me see if I can see it here. That's a pigeon. Isn't that a pigeon? Yeah, I think it's a pigeon. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah. No, it's a rooster. Yeah. So... They have different animals in here. Yeah, so it's part of the school. It's pretty cool. For their agricultural section, I guess that's what they use them for. Okay, I think it's kind of neat. So, I did the agricultural, the farming part. And one year I took it, I think I was in grade, I was in grade 8 when I took it. So, um, we got to learn how to ride a tractor. And we also went to, um, I was living in Daytona then, and uh, we went to the Boo Hill Saloon Cemetery. And 
it's a very old cemetery. It's like the 1800s. And it's right across from the Boo Hill Saloon. And uh, we would go in there and we would take care of it, clean it up, rake it, and rake the leaves and stuff like that. And we would read them, you know, as kids, curiosity. So, and it's still there to this day. It will probably always be there because I don't, I think they have to keep it there. It's historical. It's protected. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, anyways, we're going to go down here a little bit more to see what we can see. There's a house right there. There is a subdivision there. So, you're not really out in the middle of nowhere, you know, but it makes you feel like you are. Here come some bump bikers. So. <clears throat> I think he's trying to keep up with the younger guy. <laughs> Funny. <clears throat> so, yeah, today is a very busy day, but it's been so miserable and cold, and we're so used to having sun and just being outdoors. It's just, ugh. Makes you feel horrible. <clears throat> I'm sure y'all know. Uh, I mean, I used to live in nor up north, and it was too cold for me. Now, I think, I think if I had left here and went back to Canada when I was younger, which I did try after my divorce, it didn't work out. Um, so I might have been all right. So, anyways. Here we go. We're going to go down here. <clears throat> I also sometimes see horses on here. You can you can put her horse on here too if you want. Yeah, as long as you clean up your mess. <laughs> and they're very strict about it. So there's always always cops coming up and down here. Now, since the virus, I don't know if they still do that as much. Um, I don't know. So We'll see, because I'm going to start doing this a little bit more every time, you know. So, I'll probably just do it when I can. I can't put certain days on there where I can say, oh, I can do it every Tuesday and Wednesday or something, because my life is so up and down. And I usually work Tuesday and Friday, so I know I'm not going to do it on those days. So, and it depends on the weather, too, so... Yeah. They're exercising. I like to see people enjoying their life and, and keep on going, you know. I mean, we all know this horrible thing has happened to us all, but get outside, de de stress if you can, you know. If you don't feel safe, put a mask on. I got mine in my pocket, but I'm so far away from these people. I'm, I'm fine. I, I feel secure. But if I get close to somebody, then I will, you know. So, as you see, we're at the bridge. Now, this bridge is 41. This bridge I've been over. You've, you've seen me go over this bridge before, so... Um, I think Shea Beer has it in his videos and stuff. So we go underneath the bridge here. And you see, they got a little gazebo there. A little place that you can rest and take a break. Which I like. And you'll see them, they're through the whole, whole place, you know, uh, of this uh, Green Mile. I call it the Green Mile. I think they call it something else. But... I don't know where I got that name from. I think in Ocala they might call it that. Because they have it over in Ocala too. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's just a gorgeous place. You know? Yeah. <sighs> Hi. 
So we'll go underneath this bridge and we'll go down a little bit further. I don't want to go too far because the next time maybe I'll go a different section and you can and I can come up towards this bridge and you can see that side because I've really not gone too far on this side. Um, I don't know, that basically has been the bridge and that's it. I think I went a little bit further, but not much. And uh, so it looks like they had graffiti all through here. Yeah, they did and looks like they've painted over it. I mean, why don't they just leave it? You know, sometimes that graffiti stuff is really cool stuff, you know. Maybe there were bad words or something. It looks like they've had to clean it up over here too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, there's a heart. <laughs> it just bled right through too. You don't really see it. <laughs> That's funny. So we'll go a little bit more and then I'm gonna turn around for today. So, yeah. It's pretty cool, eh? Let's see, I think you see it up there. Yeah, there you go. We're really not far from town. Mm -mm. So, oh, uh. <clears throat> so, anyways, you get an idea. Let's see. There was an old building up here somewhere, I believe. <clears throat> I don't know how far down it was, but I'll find it sooner or later. We don't want to give you all the good stuff all in one day. Eh, looks like a tree fell down over there. Hmm. Uh, and I'm not going to go too much further, I think. I was trying to see where that building was. It was a, an old building. I think it was abandoned or something. <clears throat> but things have changed, and I haven't been down this ar area for a long time. So, you know, things change all the time. So... But sometimes when it's, you know, it's not busy through here, you know, if you're quiet, you can just hear the birds. I hear one now. It sounds so peaceful. So. Oh. Yeah, I'm just letting you kind of feel the moment with, you know, I hear it a little bird, but there's a lot of people today, so, you know, they'll, they won't be as, as noisy. You come down here and it's not a very nice day, but you'll see maybe a couple people walking through here and you can hear them a little bit more. Same. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to have to turn around because my toe is kind of throbbing a little bit. So we'll go by these bikers and we'll turn around. I was trying to find that building, but it could be gone. Damn, it's got good speakers on that. 
Got his music going. Good thing I'm not monetized. I wouldn't be able to use this video. <laughs> or I could just cut him out. Yeah, I'd probably do that. Yeah, there used to be a building over here somewhere. I might not be far enough down, but... Or it could be gone. They might have took it out. Yeah, so... And see, in the summer, you know, this is all up. This, you know, the leaves are all... It's not dead looking, so... You know, you can't really see too much. In the wintertime, you can over here. Yeah, so... Anyways... I'm going to turn around and uh, we'll go back to the truck and I'll do my ending. So that was good. I can feel it in my legs. Oof. I'll probably be hurting tomorrow so I won't be walking tomorrow and then I work Tuesday. So maybe Wednesday or Thursday I'll try to come out. It depends on my mother's nursing people coming in right now too. Um, but yeah. I figured we could do this once in a while and here and there and you know and it'd be cool but I'll do different sections I won't go to the same place I'll try to go a different place and it'll get me motivated to keep walking and to get that sugar down I'm hoping this is going to help because I don't want to be diabetic um, you know there's a lot of bad stuff about it and I'm not on medicine at all I can't seem to get a doctor to look at me and I went to the ER a few weeks ago and they only wanted to focus on my UTI infection that I had and they wouldn't treat me with anything else and I told them what was going on and and I figured it's the sugar because I really I'm starting to feel bad but I'm not um, you know I haven't been real real bad so and I think the urine infection was from not drinking enough water and the sugar the sugar being up so high is just taking everything because my fingers will shrink and yeah I look like an old lady so I have to keep drinking water and keep flushing which is not good either because you do too much and you're doing too much and you are, um, you know, hurting your kidneys, you know, from going and going too much. So there's a balance with everything and my balance is off whack big time. So hopefully I can get this going and you guys can join me if you want on my journey. So, and maybe I can do, I find some uh, diabetic uh, recipes that I can do that my mom and I can have you know, dinner and stuff. But very strict. I mean, really, it's about eating meat and vegetables. And pretty much that's it. Um, but you got to be careful of that, too, because some of those vegetables got sugar in them. High sugar. So. Like corn. Corn has high sugar in it, you know. So you guys stay with the greens. Anything green is good. Um, you know, white, I guess, they say to stay away from. But then they say cauliflower is really good for you. So, you know, can't eat potatoes. Can't eat spaghetti. You can't eat, you know, it, you can't eat pretty much anything. And I'm an eater. I enjoy food and, you know, I... Yeah, I don't smoke, you know, I, don't, I do some drinking, but not real bad, you know, and Shea Bear's not able to drink anymore, so I'm not drinking because of that, and that helps me out too, you know, I mean, I'm not a real big drinker, never have been, I drink here and there, maybe get drunk once in a while, you know, that's it, yeah, but I'm getting older, and all that has sugar in it, so I can't drink it as much. So, we're going to try to find some good recipes we can do, maybe, and I, I'll do, on my playlist, I'll start doing one on that, and, um, you know, and I'm going to do this walking thing, and I hope, I hope I can do this by no meds. If it continues, 
I'm just gonna have to go back to the ER and tell them I gotta have some help here, you know, because, yeah, I have never lost weight like this, ever. I've always had trouble with weight. So, anyways, I think that was a pretty good walk. Oh, there's steps right there. You see the steps and you can go up on the road there. I think you can see them. Yeah. Yeah, there's some steps there. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can see them. Yeah. So you can walk up there onto the road if you want. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's a path right here too. Yeah, you can get up on the road over here. Yeah. Hi. So it's pretty cool. Yep. Ah, oh, so pretty. Very pretty through here. Yeah. <laughs> People talk to you, you know. Now, if you have a dog, they'll want to stop and pet the dog, so you're not really getting too much exercise. That's why I didn't bring Bruno today. You know, I might bring him once in a while. But, um, you know, when you're walking, you don't want to go slow. So, you know, I'm kind of trying to do a stroll here now. But I can feel it. Oh, yeah. I can feel it in my legs. But I, I have that lazy leg syndrome. And I'll lay in bed and my legs will just jump. And it hurts. And now I got this electrical shock going through my body. What the heck is that all about? I'm thinking it's neuropathy setting in because of the sugar being so high. So, yeah. So, I got to do something. Definitely got to do something. Oh. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the walk. It's it's peaceful. It's nice. And, it's just very pretty, you know. And uh, next time I'll go on the other side of um, the other side of the park. And we'll do down that way. And you can see down there. Hopefully maybe we'll see some rabbits and maybe a gator. Yeah. Oh. a biker biker he's probably been riding on this trail for a while he's got a backpack and stuff I'd like to do that with Shea Bear if he can handle it um, yeah we could take the bike and I can get a carrier for Bruno and we can put Bruno in a carrier so um, that'd be really cool too we can take him with us and go for a bike trail you know we can go into another county you know doing this and, uh, or we could drive up to uh, Cala area and do the trail up in there and, you know, do it in sections. That's all I'm going to do right now. And we'll see how his health is. And He's got a big belly and I think the belly is causing him problems. I don't know if it's water in there that he's holding from the heart problem. Um, could be that he's not working anymore so he's not getting the exercise that he used to get. But they don't want him to exercise too much because they don't want the blood going through the hole and going to the brain. So they don't want to elevate it. So, so he's stuck. He's like in a bad situation. Really bad. So I wish they could fix it for him. I really do. But maybe we get him going a little here, a little there. Maybe he'll feel better.
so I think there's some winter people here even though we have the virus going people have homes here that they have to come and see and check on so they will come down here in the winter and there's not as many though the traffic is nothing like it used to be so I know that a lot of them are staying back at home in their homes up north but um probably wishing they're down here especially on a day like this my mom's sister couldn't come this year so they're up in Canada and they had them in lockdown um, which Shea Bear says it's not really lockdown well it isn't because you can go to the grocery store and you can go to the doctors but that's all you're allowed to do you're not allowed to do anything else but Shea Bear feels that lockdowns are locked down. You can't go anywhere. That's what he, he, he feels a lockdown in. Well, people call it lockdown, and it's not really a lockdown. So, here we go. Bring my head down a bit so you guys can see. Can see. Um, what I got going. Yeah, it's just nice out here. <sighs> yeah, and you got to see some animals. That's cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they got a few in there, but not as many as you used to. Used to have a bunch of them in there. I think you can see them. Yeah, I think you can kind of see through there, the cages and that. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Trying to get some. Yeah. So, anyways. <sighs> hey. All righty. So we're not too far from the truck. Not really. Uh, my toes hurt me though, so I'll be done for the day and we got to go to the store Get some stuff This afternoon my mother's still not feeling really well. I don't know they messed with her sugar They've upped her one insulin, and I think that's what's doing it. It's making her feel nasty, so yesterday was a really bad day for her, so today she says she's still feels bad but not as bad so that's a good thing they're trying to get her sugar to to be in the hundreds hers bops up and down too much and they were trying to get it in the hundreds so they upped her insulin but um if i get her maybe on some diabetic food better um maybe we can get it better where she she stays in the hundreds i mean you know, we're feeding her. <laughs> and Shaver is used to sugar. He's used to salt. He's used to, and he cooks for us, which is great. Believe me, it's good food. And uh, we have to, um, you know, he, he doesn't put much sugar in anything, but sugar is in everything. And, you know, you bread something, that's bread. That's a carb, you know, so. And she found some bread that she likes. So she eats bread. She likes bread. And see, I can take it or leave bread. I've never really fond of it. Um, but if it's in your food because you breaded something, um, yeah, then I'm eating it. And probably shouldn't because it all turns into sugar. And we got to have some amount of sugar, but I guess ours is just overbound. <laughs> And I don't eat a lot of junk food. I mean, I have been in the last year because I've been so stressed. And things have calmed down now, so I think I think it's a lot better now that we can just relax and and start living our life again without having to deal with the house and my dad's death and all that. So even though she's still missing him, of course she's going to miss him. She always will. I mean, they were married 54 years. It's a long time to, to, you know, to to not have somebody around all of a sudden. And her life turned upside down. She had a nice home, within ground swimming pool, as you saw in my videos. And uh, 
now I had to sell it. And now all our furniture is in a in a shed in my backyard, you know. That gotta be depressing, you know. And so she can't live by herself. If she could live by herself, I'd get her a little apartment, you know, close by, and she could be independent, but she can't. She just can't. So she has to be with somebody. And uh, I'm it. She's all I got, so she has to be with me. Unless she moved up north. But even then, you know, people have their lives too, you know, and they don't wanna they don't wanna take care of somebody else. It's hard to take care of someone else. A lot of people are like, Oh yeah, it's easy. No, it's not. It's very stressful, it's very time consuming. Um, you know, and you have your emotions and stuff like that, and you're trying to do your own life on top of somebody else's life. It's it's not easy. And as they get sicker, it gets harder. So, but I will keep my mom at home as long as I can, and I'm able to take care of her. I don't want her anywhere else. So, unless she gets better enough where she, she can... Uh, you know, go up to see your sister. Hi. So I don't know if that'll happen or not, but we can try. And also with this virus, I don't want her going too many places. I like to get her into uh, bingo or something like that. That would be great, you know. Something that she can do for herself to make herself feel good about herself. And, uh, but it's, with the virus, it's hard to do that. And I know some of them are open, but, you know, are they open and she's going to be closed in a bunch of people and, and get the virus? I don't know. But, we got to live, you know, to a point. I saw on TV a bicycle that they have for handicap, and they put the handicap person in the front of the bicycle, and then you have somebody riding the bike so they could go with you. If I could afford one of them, oh my God, I'd love to get one for my mom so cause she could come with us, and she could sit on that, and then I could pedal her. But probably wouldn't be easy though, you know. Because she can't ride a bike anymore. She might be able to try those three bikes, you know, the three-wheeler ones. Because her balance is off. So she can't. She can't ride a bike like she used to. So, um, yeah. So, we're almost to the truck. I heard something. Probably it was squirrel. You hear the geckos and you hear the squirrels and they'll rustle on the leaves and they make noises and you think it might be a snake and it freaks you out, but it really isn't. The only thing I've seen on this trail on the other side where the gators are, I had a gator and it was on the walkway, sitting in the walkway in the winter sun. And I saw it when I was walking and I got closer and I'm like, holy crap, this is an alligator. So I turned around and went the other way. I was like all by myself. Nobody was around. It was not a really nice day. And um, when it gets cold, the old people, they stay inside. So, yeah. But that was a little scary. So, anyways, you never know what we'll see on these trails. Especially if I'm on these and there's not very many people. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, we're almost to the truck. Yeah, I'm going to take my head thing off. There's somebody's just parked beside me, I think. Yeah. So. Oh. We'll go by the truck here. Uh, lady with her doggie. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh. 
Hi, how are you? So far. Mm. That's a good thing, right? Got warm, didn't it? Yeah, finally. Yeah. Tired of all that gloominess. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to take you off my head, so I'm going to spin you around. Hold on just a moment. Oh. Okay, guys. I think you can see me there. Yeah. Uh, there. The sun's in my eyes real bad. Okay, guys. So, that's it for today on my journey of uh, walking in my spiel. Anyway, so stay tuned for more. I'm going to try to keep doing this as much as I can. I can't guarantee when I'm going to do it or how many times I'm going to do it. You know, I'll probably not do it any more than two days a week. Um, you know, because I have a life. I have other things i got to do and work and take care of people. So, um, we'll, t we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. And uh, if you got a topic you want to talk, want me to talk about, uh, as long as it's not religion and politics, I, I just don't want to go there. Um, just too much going on right now with that world. <laughs> and uh, we'll we do some fun things, you know, some fun topics. Or or you got any questions or anything you want to ask me? Um, yeah, I'll put it on here while I'm walking. So that's it for now, y'all. Um, I'm going to go back to the house and grab me a bite to eat and see what Shea Bear is doing. He's supposed to be doing a video too today. So uh, stay tuned for all his videos. He's got an unboxing today, so he'll have it up soon. And I'm going to put this one up soon today. So, okay. Um, Mikey says she's out for now. Y'all take care and have a good, good week. Bye, y'all.